practice escaping the grapevine, right? Heels to your butt, starfish out, bring your feet in, one hip to the mat, bring your knee up, elbow down, trap the leg, under hook. BJJ for breakfast. What's up everybody? Thank you for supporting the channel. If you like what you're seeing and you want more content, think about joining the BJJ for breakfast membership for just $4.99 a month, good exclusive member only content, and it'll give you a deeper understanding of each of the videos that I post each week. Take your skills to the next level. Thank you. Uh, yep. Okay. Ready? Doing mount again today. So again, when we're doing mount escapes, okay, the escape you do should be dependent on where they are with their body and where you are with your body. Okay, so if I'm in mount, today we're going to do the elbow escape, all right? I have to have my body in the proper position to do the elbow escape. I need to have him down over my hips, all right? If he's super high up under my armpits, I can't elbow escape because I can't get my knee under his foot, all right? I need him down here, okay? So for the elbow escape, you want to make your frame, you want to get them low over your hips. If they're high up, I want to frame, and I want to back walk down and get them over my hips, okay? Then I'm going to make this kind of grip here where I'm supporting my own wrist. I'm going to put one hand across his hip onto his uh, hip bone. Other hand supporting it, elbow on the inside. Elbow on the inside, super important for this, okay? I can't have my elbow on the outside, this move won't work. Um, next thing I wanna do is I need to have one foot perfectly flat, okay? If I have my elbow on this side, I'm gonna have my foot perfectly flat on this side, yeah? I'm gonna get up on my shoulder just a little bit, all right? I'm not gonna turn my back to him, I just wanna get my shoulder up a little bit so I can turn my foot down more. Now, using this frame, all right, I'm gonna do a few things all at once. I'm gonna bring this foot up, as I push this elbow down, and then oftentimes, you'll bring this foot over to assist. If your knee goes underneath, underneath the instep of his foot like this, awesome, you don't need to bring your other foot over. But if he keeps his foot flat to the mat, as some guys will do, because they're savvy, you gotta bring this foot over and pick it up, okay? Once I get his shin on the inside of my thigh, I use my elbow for the last 10%, and I bring my knee in, and then I come into my half frog, yeah? What's up everybody, Coach Nate here. Just wanted to give a shout out to our new gear sponsor, X Marshall. They just started sponsoring the page and we really appreciate it. We love wearing their gear. It's awesome, it fits great, it feels great, it looks great as you can see. So they've hooked us up now. We've got a coupon code and a link on the webpage. It's xmarshall.com. And if you enter the coupon code, BJJ, the number four breakfast, BJJ four breakfast, the number four, get yourself a 15% discount. Please come out and support them. They're a bunch of good dudes. Thank you, X Marshall. We appreciate you. Oh. So a good time to do this one is right after, let's say you have they have you in a grapevine, right after you escape from a grapevine, because for the grapevine to work, his hips have to be down over mine. Okay? That's that's a guarantee that his hips are in the right place. All right. Pull your heels in, kick your feet out, bring them back, get on your hip. Trap, bring your knee up, slide it in. You come to half guard, yeah? That's a very easy sequence that you can get used to doing, okay? Even if he's um, sitting up from this position, right? It's gonna be kind of hard for me if he's sitting back to do it with his weight back, right? So even from this position, I wanna get him here and then do this and then start doing that. It's gonna make his knees a little lighter because now his weight's distributed between his hands and his knees. Mm. If all of his weight is on his knees, it's gonna be hard to do this elbow escape, right? And then once again, once we get to here, we come up to our half guard. So, run it off of both. If he does the grapevine, practice escaping the grapevine, right? Heels to your butt, starfish out, bring your feet in, get one hip to the mat, bring your knee up, elbow down, trap the leg under hook. Or if he's sitting back in the mount position, use your knee, already get your frame set, okay? Reaching up here is okay to pull him down, but if you're just a good jiu-jitsu guy, you're kind of, you never want to extend your arms, right? So we're going to be here. I'm going to use my knee. Bump him. Shift. My, my hands were already ready to go. As soon as I bumped him and his, his knee got light, that's when I went for the elbow escape. Boom. From there. Okay? So running off of both the grapevine and then also bump him forward and, and do that one, yeah? So run it. One, two, three. What's up, guys? If you like that, please smash the like button, tap the subscribe button to support the channel, and then let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Okay.